Hi, it's Yasmin Chowdhury, who's a finalist in the British Muslim Awards as um, Entrepreneur of the Year. Thank you so much for the nomination I got from the general public. But first, just from my own lips, why it's so important. You'll see that I'm filming this from the Shard. Actually, I take interim roles to fund my venture, which I have been doing for the past few years. And I guess what I wanted to share with the judging panel is to tell you this. Being a social entrepreneur, that's where business is heading. And I know there's very worthy contenders, but it would mean so much if I got to win, because you would be giving a vote, not just for social entrepreneurship, the idea that by pursuing business models and goals in the pursuit of profit, we can also do good. But I think the other thing is that you give a vote to all the people in the developing world, and the artisans, the rural folks, all the people I've been mentored, I've been mentoring and piloting these projects so that Love Desh and Amkariza, which work hand in hand to provide a new solution to global development, to third world poverty, can actually see more pennies put into the pockets of local people. But more importantly, I am a British Muslim woman, and if by winning, it might actually encourage others to actually start coming forward in droves to stop breaking the mould and doing a lot more for society. And already there's already fantastic women out there, but you and I know that it's a real challenge for us British Muslim women to stand up and be change makers. And therefore, I just say to you, thank you so much. If we did win, it'd be such an honour. Look at the submission I've sent and all the evidence. And remember, social entrepreneurs take longer because sometimes we will never, um, we'll have to take the long route and we do so because we don't want to compromise the good that we plan to deliver into society at the expense of just going ahead and making property profit. So I guess, in short, the pursuit of business, the pursuit of profit is a good thing. It's what Islam is all about. And in the meantime, in doing so, it does take longer, it is harder, it requires real, real sweat, tears, and I've done that by going out to Bangladesh, personally myself, which is why my nose is down at grassroots level. I'm not very connected, so if I got this award, it means the British Muslims and the establishment, like yourselves, are standing shoulder to shoulder to me, with me. And by doing so, that is such a huge, huge vote of support for the vision and dream that I will launch for the third world via Lovedesh and Amkariza Foundation. Thanks so much for listening and reading my submission. And whoever wins, there'll be a worthy winner. Thank you.